Hey guys, and welcome back to Pacific Northwest Wreckage, aka PN Wreckage, whichever one you'd like to call it. I'm Christian, and today is Tuesday, May 16th. So it's been a little while since the last fill up, and that's because this truck spent about three days at the dealership while I drove a Chrysler 200. Uh, it's about quarter to eight a.m. Um, I am on my way to fill this truck up because I didn't want to do it last night and it's only got a uh, 76 miles remaining and it's about a 60 mile round trip to my house and back so we'll see um, so just a brief description of the driving style my wife and I took this to the coast traffic was really bad and we ended up in stop and go for a considerable amount of time uh, it's still showing 19.1 miles per gallon on the liometer and um, I'm not sure how the dealership dealt with, um, like, how long they let it idle and things like that, but I'm not going to stop there because I don't want to get crushed by a semi. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how long they let it idle, but it was clearly a while, and I think in the interest of continuity, I'm actually going to be switching pumps to the one that I filled up last time. It's still on the same exact machine, uh, but, you know, kind of threw a wrench in it, so at least we can get the last three of them completely I uh, in line, hopefully. It's like an 80 year old woman getting gas. I mean, the guys are helping her, which is great, but she's getting gas in like a one, maybe one and a half gallon gas tank. Not only is she getting it by herself in beach weather, or at least Western United States beach weather, Northwestern. Uh, but no one is here helping her. Like, is she going to mow that lawn today? I really hope not. Pardon me for being a bit of a nerd. Oh, no, you're good. I do the same thing. You, do you? you need to know how much gas you're getting. I, well, I'm i doing it be, uh, just for uh, to see what the actual mileage on this stupid truck is. Compared to what they told you? Yeah, compared to what the lie meter tells me. It would be nice if it's right, though. Yeah, it would be. Good All luck, right. brother. Thanks, man. All right. Forgot to show you guys ahead of time, but I'm at mileage. Sorry about that. Mileage 7061.8. Uh, 19.1 miles per gallon showing on the Lyle meter. Trip A, 440 miles. So let's, uh, let's bust out the calculatron and see how we're doing. Because I'm guessing you already know at home. Um, and if you don't, just do the math with me because it's, it's fun. Calculator. Alright, so we have 440.8 divided by 24.798. So show the full history. Yep. 17.77. 1 1.4 off? All right. This is our last opportunity. Oh, I gotta show you the clearing of it. All zeros. Well, they, uh, not only did they leave my fuel door open, both of them were able to do that, but, they, so I, oh good God, it is a torrential downpour. So they also left my fuel cap, my diesel cap off, and you may be thinking to yourself, I have one of these, there isn't a diesel cap, and you're right. But, and there, this is definitely a point of debate, There, it really freaks me out to have just an open door like into your fuel tank. And I know that there are, are safeties to prevent stuff just getting in, but it seems to me like a sort of just relying on the uh, outside seal around your filler door to close against the body of the truck. And that just doesn't seem like a very good idea to me. So I bought one of these, just like, about like seven bucks. You can find them ranging in price from like basically seven bucks to about 
20 or 25 so just shop around but I mean it's something that I've I've liked um, I almost just lost it just there so there's there's something but anyway we'll see we'll see how it goes haven't any I didn't have any issues over 27,000 miles with my 2016 that had it and I haven't had any issues with this one but this one has had it so I don't know there's probably some I'm assuming there's some drawback but I don't really know what it would be anyway all right guys I will see you in a little while, I guess.